welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video on my hair care routine and also show you guys how I prevent my hair from being dry and orange. If you guys are new to my channel then you guys probably don't know but I put balayage highlights in my hair and I've done it a few times the past few months and I had an issue with it turning orange and I also realized that my hair has been a lot more dry after I put that much bleach in my hair. So basically this video is to show you guys my, like I said, hair care routine and how to prevent your hair from being dry and orange. So let's get on to it. Also, I think my hair comes out more gold on camera, but it is definitely on the more yellow toned, like blonde, ash blonde tone. So I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. I don't know if it's the lighting, but um, definitely yellow. Since my hair is not oily, I don't wash my hair every single day, and also you shouldn't because it's not good for your hair because that dries it out more, but I do shower every single day, so don't get it twisted, okay? Sometimes I'll even go two days without washing my hair, but that is only on the weekends when I'm like not going outside, I'm not going out to society, and I just am gonna be at home. Moving on to the products that I use in the shower, I use L'Oreal Eversleek sulfate free smoothing system in sunflower tournasol. I think that's how you say tournasol. I don't know. In the shower I just shampoo the top of my head. I don't actually shampoo the bottom ends because I don't really put a lot of products in my hair. I am all about less is more and that goes for everything in life and so I like everything to be pretty simple and I shower the I wash the top of my hair and then I just let the soap run through the ends when I'm rinsing it out and then I use this conditioner and let it sit for I don't know about like two minutes it's not really a treatment or anything but I feel like it soaks in more of the moisture and then I just wash it out the other product that I use in the shower is Joico's color endure violet shampoo and it is sulfate free as well and it is for toning blonde slash gray hair. I use this shampoo about once a week. I think it recommends for you to use two to three times a week but I feel like this dries out my hair too if I use it too much. But basically you put this in your hair just like you would a regular shampoo. You keep it in for about three to five minutes. You really don't want to put it in any longer and then it kind of prevents your hair from turning orange. Oh. Um, yep, and so uh, it's all over my hand, but if you guys can tell it is purple. I also realized that argan oil is a really good detangler. I don't know why and don't know if it, it's supposed to do that, but it does that for my hair. And then what I will do is just comb out the ends of my hair and then work my way up. And I don't start at the crown because I have way too many tangles and if I pulled from the top then I would basically be bald because I'll be pulling out so much hair. And I am currently using the Pura Dior, Pura Dior, Dior, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but basically it is 100% organic and there are no silicones, it is just pure, pure argan oil which is what I like. Like I said, less is more, I like that. After I comb out my hair, I will put my hair back into a towel wrap and then kind of wait around and just try to get as much moisture out of my hair and then I will go to bed. I don't go dry my hair after I take a shower because I'm lazy, but it works in my favor because having a hot heat blow into your hair is also, again, damaging for your hair, hence making it more dry. Now on the days that I don't wash my hair, I typically don't do any styling or anything like that. I just comb my hair. I think these are called like boar bristle brushes and the top is plastic and then they have little boar bristles on the bottom. And what I like about this is I think I've heard that boar bristles distribute oil into like the lower parts of your hair because you're obviously pulling up, down, down. You're pulling downwards. I realized that even though I don't have super oily hair that this has been a really good way to distribute a little bit more oil to the ends of my hair. And the last two products that I wanted to mention I'm sure you guys have all heard of but it is Batiste Dry Shampoo Cool and Crisp in the Fresh Scent and I really like using this on the second day hair because I am really cautious about making sure that my hair is not stanky and is not looking like a grease ball. And then the other one is obviously Tresemme's 
heat protectant. This is my holy grail. I have gone through like probably 12 of these bottles in my lifetime. I definitely do not work out every single day because I do not have the motivation to do that. But when I do work out, I will wash my hair, obviously because I don't want it to be stanky. And so I'll kind of plan it so that I wash my hair on days that I'm gonna be working out. I know it's so weird, but if I happen to work out on a day that I have previously washed my hair, then I will just shampoo the top of my hair really, really lightly and then just really focus on conditioning the ends of my hair and it's basically the same process. That wraps up my current hair care routine. I'm probably going to change up my routine in the winter times when it gets even more dry, but as of now, this is what I've been doing and I've been loving it. I have a request for you guys. Let me know down below any type of videos that you guys would like to see because I am running out of ideas and I feel like I can only do so many like get ready with me videos or something like that. So if you guys like get ready with me videos then I will do more of that but let me know down below what other videos you guys would like to see so that I could work off of that and I think that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys next Sunday. Bye! I guess that's done.